Hey folks, Michael Crump back here again, and I just wanted to provide a follow-up on the video that I released over here on June the 7th. It was, Will the Flow Reveal a PS5 Jailbreak at Hardware.io? Well, I have some very good news for you here today, and before I do that, let's just jump over and get a quick refresher. So, in that video, I talked about this tweet where Andy the Flow Zero will be sharing us his discovery, which cannot be disclosed right here. Again, this happened just today. Matter of fact, just a few hours ago, but I was waiting on some more information to come through, which I actually have now. And if we scroll down into this, you could see it was heavily alluded that this was going to be in regards to the PlayStation 5. Well, I have great news for you, and that is it was in regards to the PlayStation 5 and even the PlayStation 4. So let's take a couple of look at a few of the screen shares that I saw on Twitter. The very first one that I saw that caught my eye was this screenshot, which was BD-JB, which stands for Blu-ray Disc Jailbreak. So it says that this is a Blu-ray Disc Java Sandbox Escape. And if we look at the one of the slides from the presentation, we can see that there is this recap and it says escalate privileges and it says search for this call, uh, trick it into loading this payload class with all permissions. Number two is disable the security manager, set the security manager to null. Number three was installed native APIs and then you can see the instructions down there. And then number four was execute arbitrary code. Now it says here on PS4 only, and the text below it says, send malicious request to the compiler to process to write the payload. But then I saw this slide right here, which was the end result was user len code execution using a Blu-ray disk. So it says 100% reliable firmware agnostic. And the key thing to keep in mind here is that down at the bottom, it says that this is going to work on PlayStation 4 firmwares less than 9.50 or the PlayStation 5 with a firmware of less than 5.00. And it says it will also be made, likely will be on the PlayStation 3. Now, there is a lot to unpack just right there. So, We've been looking for an exploit for the PlayStation 4, anything over 9.00. It looks like we have just found our answer. Next up is for the PlayStation 5. It's been heavily rumored to stay on 4.03 or lower. And now we see that there is an exploit that's available on firmware version 5.00 and under. It does say down in these slides, the HackerOne report will be made public today. And well, that was the reason that I was waiting for this video, and that is because that report is now available. But before I show you that, there was another screenshot that was shared showing the exploit working. And so there we go. It ends with exploit successful. Okay, let's go ahead and let's take a look at the write-up for this exploit. And okay, it says right over here, BD-J exploit chain, and it says, below are five vulnerabilities chained together that allows an attacker to gain JIT or just-in-time capabilities and execute arbitrary payloads. It says they follow the provided payload triggers, a buffer overflow that causes a kernel panic. Please consider each of the vulnerabilities individual. As far as I know, the first exploit chain that is being submitted to you. So here are the vulnerabilities. And there is the second one. There's the third one. Finally, there's the fourth one. And then we have the fifth one just right there. Now, if we scroll down into this, you will see that it has proof of concept attached is that the exploit chain BD-JB as an ISO file, which demonstrates the exploitation of vulnerabilities one through four that demonstrates the ability to run arbitrary payloads. 
and there's a little bit more information in that. Uh, one thing to note is, is that in the impact here, and actually this is brand new, I did not see this when I first came into this page, and it has been added with these vulnerabilities, it is possible to ship pirated games on Blu-ray disc. That is possible even without a kernel exploit as we have JIT capabilities, and that is all of the information at this time. So if you are looking for or have been waiting for a way to potentially pay play pirated games, well, it looks like for the most part uh, that will be coming, as well as I can see a number of homebrew applications also coming. Uh, what will be very interesting now is, is that you would need to acquire a Blu-ray disc burner as well as some blank Blu-ray disc in order to run this exploit. And so just one thing to kind of keep in mind here is, is that this is the very beginnings. There isn't any instructions right now to give you that shows you exactly how to, you know, play a pirated game or to run homebrew. All of that will be coming uh, much well, later than right now. But is this a time to go ahead and get a Blu-ray disc as well as Blu-ray burner? I say yes. I'm actually going to be looking for one as soon as I wrap up and post this video because obviously I want to take advantage of this as soon as possible. I may share out on Twitter or I may share out through YouTube community what I bought but uh, I'm definitely in the market now for a Blu-ray disc that I can burn to as well as a Blu-ray burner. Well, thank you so very much for watching. I wanted to share this breaking news announcement with you and take care and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.